Hello, it's Brand Share Leverage Lane, and today is Monday, which means it's Macro Monday, and I can't think of a better way to start out your week than being more efficient and effective on your computer. And the best way to do that is use our latest macro. What kind of macro are dropping this morning? Let me show you. All right, this is the macro we're dropping this morning. This is an Outlook macro reply with email template. If you find yourself responding with the same email over and over again, you could create an email template. If you haven't done this before, check out our tutorial on how to create an email template. Email templates are a great way to save that perfectly drafted email and recall it again at a later date. One shortcoming in Outlook is you can't reply to an email directly with the contents of an email template. This is why we created this macro. This Outlook macro will allow you to reply to an email template, pull in all of the contents from a specific email template. You can run this macro on a selected email in your inbox or directly from an open email. This Outlook macro is designed to grow with you over time. As you continue to create email templates, your selection options to pull in the contents from them will expand. This macro is awesome. I've done some more things on email templates, allowing you to quickly save and open email templates. Check those out. And if you've yet to see this macro in action, check out our see it in action video here. And here is the code directly to run this macro. Before I run into the code, let's talk about the three steps you need to do before running VBA. First, you need to activate the developer tab, update your macro security, and set up references for leverage and lean macros. And let me show you how easy and quick you can do this just by navigating to Outlook. You can head up to the customize quick access toolbar, drop down two more commands, and then in customize ribbon, you're gonna head over to the main tab section and then scroll down. And you'll see the developer tab is unchecked. Go ahead and check mark that and click OK. You'll now see you have the developer tab available and within the developer tab you can head over to macro security and you'll see that all macros are currently disabled without notification what you want to do is enable all of them even though this is not recommended because potentially dangerous code could run the potential of that happening is if you're blindly running vba code with no idea of what it's actually doing in this video i walk through all of the code so you know exactly what to expect all right, once you're done setting up your macro security, head over to Visual Basic, and then we're going to head over to the Tools tab and then drop down to References. And these are all of the references you should have set up to run this Outlook macro reply with email template. All right, let's go ahead and create a module to paste in the code. You can use this black drop down arrow, select Module. And what we're going to do is paste the code into Module 1 in this area here so you can head back over to leveragelean.com and the best way to select all of this code is just in between the code numbers and the physical code itself you can double click this will select all of the code and then you can simply control c to copy and navigate back to visual basic and paste this into module one all right so let me take a quick moment to walk through this vba code so you know exactly what to expect when running it the first thing i need to identify is are you working in a currently open email or are you working in an unopened email what i mean by unopened is you're probably just selecting an email in an inbox and what this macro will actually do is reply to that email first and then work to pull in the contents from the selected email template so what i'm doing is copying the current body of the email because i'm going to pull that in later i need to retain what's currently in the email thread and then i'm going to look to the default folder path using your user and then this is traditionally the path to Outlook email templates. You can change this path. If you decide to save your email templates somewhere else, you just like to store them somewhere easier to access, you can change this folder path. Really easy to do. Just make sure you get all the way to the exact folder, pulling in all that information in the folder path variable. And then I'm going to work through that folder path and then find all of the Outlook item templates, which is your OFT, to display them in an input box. I do have a little bailout here. If your email template titles get too long, that message box will not display all of your selection options. You will see this message box. If I can't display all of the text, you wanna just shorten the email template titles. And then the input box will display, giving you all your selection options. Just enter in the leading number 
to determine which email template you want the contents from. Then I just need to loop back through, confirm your selection within all of the files in that folder path. And this is where we can pull in the email contents and actually show you what the power of this macro is. So a bulk of this code segment is looking at email attachments. So what I wanted this macro to do when I set it up is if your email template had attachments, I want to be able to pull them in directly to the response, which I was able to successfully do. But one thing I noticed was embedded images. Maybe you're sending an email and just screenshots stacked on top of each other, just giving a step-by-step, -step. maybe it's a tip sheet or something along those lines. What Outlook will actually do is make those PNG images in the email body, but then it will attempt to pull in a, a JPG image in as an attachment as well. I've actually excluded those JPGs because it just looks like a duplicate image, very confusing to the recipient. So that's something you will notice. It'll just show the embedded images but if there's no embedded images in that email template, all attachments will attach into the email reply. So that's all that's happening here. And then all I'm doing in this final segment is that I'm looking at the current email subject. I'm retaining that, but if you for some reason wanted to pull in the email template subject, you could simply make this no longer a comment. And then the most important part is that email body. I'm taking the current body and sticking it at the end so it looks like nothing has happened. We've retained all that's currently in the email thread. And then I'm just pulling in the email template body. And I'm just displaying the email. For some reason, if you really get powerful with this thing, you really think it should just automatically send, you can simply go straight to and send that directly from the VBA code. And that's it. I've got some bailouts here if an error occurs. And obviously, don't hesitate to email me, brentshatter at leveragelean.com. So let me show you the next thing I like to do with any of my macros is I like to set up a custom button to run them. Now, as I mentioned before, this macro can work in two different places. So I actually wanna put this button in two instances of Outlook. The first place I wanna put this is just within the selection in between the delete and respond group. To do that, you can go back to customize quick access toolbar, head over two more commands, and then in the customize ribbon, we're going to create a new group just by selecting the delete group. You're then going to click new group, which will put that new group just in between the two groups I want. And then I just like to remove the new group name. You can put in a group name. This is traditionally just what I like to do. And then with that new group selected, you can drop down the macros and then just pull in that reply with email template project. I like to rename this, clean it up, give it a nice icon. There you go, and then select an icon that you want. I like to use this lightning bolt icon, and then click OK. So you'll see, again, new custom group, new custom button to run this macro on a selected email in an inbox. All right, so let me show you this. You can run this macro with this custom button. You then get an input box with all of the available email templates to pull in the contents from. And then you can simply enter the leading number of that email template and click OK or click Enter. And there you go, that email will be responded to and you'll see already there's content in that response and that is the contents from that email template. There is the email body all indicated here and then there are the email attachments embedded in that email template. Again, I'm leaving the subject alone, so you're still gonna get the RE as the response. And then obviously you're replying to the existing recipients. By default, I'm replying all. You can update this instead to just reply to the sender. So the second scenario you could run this macro in is a currently open email. Maybe you've already hit reply, reply all, and you're now deciding you want to pull in contents from an existing email template. Again, I would create a custom button. This is the second place I would create one, and I'm gonna go ahead and create one in between the clipboard and basic text. I just showed you the steps how to do this. I'm just gonna quickly do this so we can run this macro. And there you go, there's the second custom button to run this macro in an open email. So if you go ahead and run this, you'll get the input box. I showed you attachments before, where an email template has attachments, but I haven't shown you where an email template has embedded images, and that would be entering two and then clicking OK or typing enter. And you'll see this email update, all of that content from that email template will pull in, and these are embedded images. Again, I'm excluding JPEG attachments, JPG images, 
and they would just display up here super confusing because you already see them embedded in the email body. So there you go, I'm super excited about this macro because it allows you to really leverage all of the hard work you've done, creating awesome email templates and then quickly pull them in into appropriate responses and not have to worry about copying and pasting, opening them and then having too many open things. So let me show you the customized section in the bottom of this macro page because there are some things you can do to really customize and really make this macro do exactly what you want. You can set up again to instead of reply all by default, you can just set it up to reply to the sender. That's with code lines 30 and 31. The folder path to the email templates is traditionally the default Outlook email template path. You can update that if you have a folder path somewhere else. And this is where I wanted to call out again, I'm doing some work with the email attachments. If you've embedded some PNG images, I'm excluding JPG attachments. If you haven't, every single email attachment into that email response. And then getting down to the final results of the email, I'm keeping the subject the same as the current email thread. If for some reason you wanted to pull in the email template subject and overwrite the current email, you could do that in code line 94 and 95. I'm showing you what I'm doing with the email body. And then if you're confident enough, you've really dialed this thing in, you can automatically send this Outlook email just by updating code line 97 to not be a comment. All right, well, that's all I have for this new Outlook macro reply with email template. I absolutely wanna know what you think of this one. Could it be better? Leave some comments, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching, stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna start using the macro, I've seen the video, I'll have a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, safety on any new videos that I'm posting. Like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels, and as always, stay awesome.